Hi, I'm Mark Turner, president of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce, and we're doing our Why Gilroy segment uh, today. And we've got Tony Bowles with us from the Neon Exchange. The Neon Exchange is located at 7365 Monterey Street in downtown Gilroy. Tony, thanks for being with us this morning. No problem. Thank you for having me. Of course. Glad you could be here. Tony, before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, let's see. I am 42 years old. I live in Hollister. I was born and raised on the east side of San Jose. Um, I went to school in the Mountain View Los Altos School District and for 18, no, probably about 19 years, I worked for the Superior Courts of California. Um, I first did self-help centers with uh, restraining orders and child support orders and then worked my way up into managing their federal and state grant division. Um, so I came from the public sector myself. Um, my parish and uh, my children's school is here in Gilroy. Uh, we're very well connected into the parish and into the school. I serve on the Mother's Guild of St. Mary's as well as the board on the YMCA, Mount Madonna YMCA. Um, and so that's, I have twins. They are in fourth grade. Um, at St. Mary's and they're nine years old, boy and a girl, Austin and Sophia. Um, my husband, Chris, works for a subsidiary of Google. So he, uh, now he is working from, teleworking from home, but he was commuting to Mountain View for a while. Um, and that's pretty much me in a nutshell. All right, that's terrific. Well, thank you again for being with us. Why Gilroy? Why did you choose to invest in Gilroy? So that dates back to why did I leave the public sector and get into the private sector? Uh, it was a change of life. It was a uh, moment in my life in my 40s where I thought that I needed, to, I had a different calling, a different purpose. And so I, with the great support of my family, my parents and my husband, decided to take a huge risk and um, start a business. And when I set out to start this business, it was with some great uh, introspective research about what is my version of the ideal work-life balance. Um, so I went out and sought information and did site visits to find out how other areas were doing it with work-life balance in the co-working field. And when I finally came to a business plan and presented that, I had originally thought to do it in, I knew I wanted to do it in South County for self-serving reasons insofar as that I lived in Hollister and I was making an hour and 20 commute into downtown San Jose. But uh, for a long time, people were pushing me to uh, plant my seeds in Morgan Hill. And I stopped and I looked inside and I said, you know what? I belong to the Gilroy Parish, St. Mary's Parish. Uh, my friends and a lot of uh, the people that I network with and that I hang out with are here in Gilroy. Um, I see a very different landscape than others were purporting to tell me. And I said, you know what, I think this is the right place to do it. It was the southernmost tip of Santa Clara County. Um, it has a tremendous amount of resources. Um, and I felt like this was the sort of a bridge to an area which would embrace sort of an outside of the box concept that I had. And so I had um, one day taken a drive. Actually, I was driving Monterey Street back and forth as I was picking up my kids and going to Hollister catching 25. And one day I looked to my right and I saw this beautiful facade of a building. And at that time I was in lease negotiations for a property in Morgan Hill. And that building caught my attention and I called the number on the front of the building and met Christian Renz of Renz and Renz. And I said, you know, can I just take a look? And I am a very inquisitive person. I love touring um, open houses in real estate. Um, I love interior design. So I, if anything, it was just pure inquisition of like, what is behind that facade? And so I met Christian out there and he, I remember the very first day he said to me, hold your breath. And I said, why? And he goes, well, it's, it's just been vacant for a very long time. So I went in and I saw that building. I saw where it was located. I saw the um, bones, the great bones that it had. 
And I knew right then and there that that is what I wanted. I knew that that is, that was going to be the platform and the structure to house um, a concept that was that so far outside the box. Um, and so that's ultimately its location. Um, its availability was the reason why I chose Gilroy. Uh, but more importantly, it was because I thought to myself that, that Gilroy had the resources and had everything that I desired, I thought was sort of the making for endless possibilities. Um, and I was like, now's the time to jump in and try to make that happen.